Welcome back. This is a look at NC Central's fall commencement held earlier today. Graduates and their families and friends celebrated their big achievement. Now for some, the road to the graduation stage was more challenging. In this group, there is a graduate who experienced homelessness and another who waited decades just to get here. WRL's Adam Owens has their story. It takes a lot to get to this point, to a cap and gown and diploma. For some in this crowd, it very easily could not have happened. Will Patricia Whitfield please stand? Patricia Whitfield is a new graduate at NC Central, but she first enrolled decades ago. I actually came in 1979. In her senior year, so close to a diploma, she left school to take care of her parents suffering with health issues. Later in life, she had her own health struggles that required a kidney and pancreas transplant. She received both a couple years ago. The dream of a diploma never went away. It feels great. This is a journey I have prayed for and hoped for. Finally, prayers answered. Under a special program, she returned to Central to complete her degree in behavioral and social science. And I believe this will greatly help to counsel and to talk to people. Another incredible story in this crowd belongs to Tyler Fisher. I experienced uh, homelessness and going through poverty. Uh, it, it was really a tough time. But growing up when he had nothing, he leaned on the things that cost nothing. Love, compassion, uh, ambition, those things are free. So He used them to turn things around for his family. Now he is a first generation college graduate. They couldn't be more proud of me and uh, they'll just scream my name. Those humble beginnings honestly make this moment even feel more surreal. Adam Owens, WRAL News. If you need inspiration, just look right there. Now, Fisher is also the author of a few books inspired by his upbringing. He wants to pursue a career in the entertainment industry. As for Whitfield, she is still not done learning. No, she's not. She plans to go on to Divinity School. We know we will hear big things from them in the future.